Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 back with another review video. This time it's yet another pair of headphones from EXA. Caught enough to send this model in. This is sort of their more budget line. It's the E900DL and compatible with pretty much everything because it has an audio, like an analog audio input and USB as well. So it'll enumerate as like a USB sound device. And uh, just before I go any further, I'm sorry about my voice. I'm kind of feeling a bit under the weather. I think I'm catching something. So uh, I'm going to try my best uh, to speak loud enough and clear enough. But anyway, so yeah, it's one of their headsets. It has the removable, like detachable boom mic and adjustable. The, the design itself looks very similar to the past two models that I've uh, reviewed. I think all of them were um, 900 series. Uh, just maybe the letters at the end differed and one of them was like a pro or something. So yeah, this is their budget, like I said, uh, model. And I believe this retails for around 50 bucks. I'll put a correction if I'm wrong here. So it's one of their cheaper models, um, not dirt cheap, but also not like super expensive either. And it's got RGB LEDs because I mean, what's more synonymous with gaming than RGB LEDs. So yeah, here. You can see, yeah, three and a half mil or USB for uh, power for the USB or audio over either or. The driver diameter is 50 millimeters, so pretty, pretty large speaker. It's going to be in there. Uh, sensitivity, impedance, etc., etc., frequency range, and they even give you some specs for the microphone. And so, yeah, we are going to receive everything. I guess <laughs> might as well just open it to show you what you're going to receive. Rather than just reading that off, but yeah, they always have really interesting packaging. Very nice, and I love these like leather bags that their headphones come with because it makes it perfect for like travel to protect the headphones. So yeah, we have the headphones themselves, which we'll come to in a second, and we have some goodies. We have the microphone, which is sort of keyed. You can see there, uh, so that goes in one way, and then you just twist the mic to whatever position you want. And it has this like really nice, satisfying, kind of rubber coated wire, like adjustable bendable wire armature. And so that's that's really satisfying. Uh, the mic itself looks like an earbud, interestingly enough. <laughs> we have what appears to be a splitter. Uh, this appears to just, you know, be a, a standard three and a half mil, uh, well, two, two three and a half mil connectors and then a female on the other and I don't know why oh and they do include a little uh a little foamy which I guess is supposed to go over like this or something I don't I don't know <laughs> or like this yeah they don't show that in the picture so I guess it's just supposed to go like that fit is uh interesting not really like form fitting to that but I guess it'll work in a pinch so we've got that, we've got a little manual, which undoubtedly would just have simple instructions. Yeah, et cetera, et cetera. And then within the pouch, we have the headphones themselves. And I can already feel that these, the, um, the top portion is like this really soft memory foam kind of fake leather. And it, it's really comfy. <laughs> Now the ear pads on these are noticeably less plush than the uh, higher end models. So yeah, and they're not as deep, which that was one of the things that I loved about their higher end models is they have really deep, soft, like marshmallow like ear pads, which were super comfortable for long periods of time. These will be a little less comfortable, I can already tell. There is some give to them. They're decent. I mean, not like super cheap. Uh, so I'll have to give these a try out. Um, whether they fatigue my ears or not. Now, the only thing is, it does appear that the headphone jack on this model is non-removable. So that's a little bit of a shame, but I, I can work around that. On the other end, well, in the middle, we have a, a hard, like a mechanical mic on-off switch. I like that, so you definitively know exactly what state it's in. We have a analog volume control. And that's it, no clip or anything. Would have been nice to have a little clip in case you wanted to use this portably. We have quite a bit of wire and a uh, like a Velcro wire tie, which is very nice. 
that's integrated into the cord itself. So let's see how long this is. Oh, it's easily like six feet long. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's it's pretty, plenty long enough. Uh, interesting, they have these protective caps. That's interesting. Came with little plastic protective caps on the uh, the jacks there. That doesn't look like it's, it looks like nickel plated or something. They're not gold plated or anything. But I mean, given the price, yeah, I'm not really expecting that level of uh, of polish but yeah has this a uh, four four pole jack so uh obviously it's passing through the audio from the mic uh as well as the left and right channels and ground and then we have usb which has this really funky connector and appears to have like an led is that an led or i wonder if that lights up I'm gonna have to grab a power bank in a second to see now that might just be part of the molding that'd be cool if it lit up no functional reason but yeah, and then it has this funky little sort of like strain relief between the two ends. That's really interesting. Yeah, on the headphones themselves, just that mic jack. And this will just have satisfying click. There we go. It's keyed. It has to be inserted in the right orientation. And then you just adjust your mic. Other than that, there's no other like mechanical adjustment. No, no mechanical volume on here that's on the the inline remote doohickey and yeah has the same articulation as all the other models has these uh, little pigtail wires going to the uh, ear cups themselves and about an inch maybe a little more than an inch of adjustability on each side so two inches total i guess and yeah Feels actually, I will say, like the build quality feels pretty good. Like, I'm not worried about these little arms are made of metal, so they're not going to break. Uh, the only thing that could possibly break is the ratcheting mechanism here after a lot of use. Uh, but I don't, I don't expect it to like just completely break. What it'll probably end up doing is getting loose so that it'll slide easier without clicking. And yeah, there's a little bit of side to side movement as well because your ears aren't perfectly flat on your face on your the side of your head and yeah the band itself seems plenty strong i could probably deform it if i really pushed it but yeah you can push it just about flat and it'll spring back so yeah let me just grab a power supply okay so i have a power bank let's uh plug this guy in so you do its thing there we go so it is not color changing, it might be hard to see, but one corner of the triangle is red, one is green, one is blue. So they have three LEDs obviously in there, and that's the same thing on both sides. You can see some light spillage from the uh, the microphone jack, that's interesting. But yeah, I mean, they look nice. Yeah, obviously they could have done something flashy, like have it color change, or like flash with the music or whatever. But this is subtle, and they actually do look quite nice. If I shut off the lights, maybe it'll be a little bit easier to see. Turn this back on. There you go. Yeah, looks pretty nice. It looks a little brighter on camera to real life. Real life, it, it does. it's not as bright, so this isn't going to like blind anyone. But yeah, if you're in a dark room, you'll definitely notice these. So you might want to unplug these or uh, put them in the patch to cover them up if you're going to leave them plugged into your computer all the time. But yeah, they look very nice. It's an interesting optical phenomena. You can see there's like a floating <laughs> uh, reflection of the icon or something. That's weird. Anyway, yeah. So that is a thing. So all that's left is uh, more important than the bling factor is how do they sound? How do they wear for long periods of time? And also how good is the mic? So give me one second. I'm going to actually take these to work and wear them in like meetings and whatnot and listening to music. Okay, so it's been about... I would say like a week and a half, two weeks uh, since I've received this pair of headphones. And here are my findings. So uh, as of the filming of this, I just checked. Uh, these are going for $39.99-ish. Uh, depends where exactly you get them, whether there's a discount code or not. But uh, so around 40 bucks, let's just say. And so I guess I'm going to rate this in multiple areas. We're, we're going to start with comfort. 
Uh, these are not nearly as comfortable as the higher end models of EXA headphones like the E900 Pro or even the regular E900. Uh, they're not horrible. So there is less uh, foam. It's not quite as deep in the, um, the actual ear cup pocket. And the foam itself isn't quite as supple and soft as the other pairs. So for comfort, it takes a slight hit, but still wearing these, I can still fairly comfortably wear these for about like an hour or two at a time. Uh, no issues there. It does slightly bother me that um, my ears will kind of touch the cloth material within the cup, uh, which is after long periods of time, it kind of makes my ears uh, feel a little bit itchy. Uh, so that's de definitely not ideal, but at the same point in time, it's reasonable enough. And especially in this price range, I've worn headphones that were less comfortable that cost about the same. So it's, it's definitely not perfect, but also not horrible either. Now, as for the, the uh, actual sound quality of these, they sound okay. Uh, if I'm being honest, they're not perfect. Um, first thing I tested them with, which was probably a bad idea, was a uh, one of my Sony um, like CD players, and it had the bass boost turned all the way up, and it sounded horrible uh, because it was just blowing out the uh, the speakers. It was just over accentuating the bass. Uh, I was muddling the mids and the highs, and it just sounded horrible. And then I turned off the bass boost, and it actually sounded reasonably okay. Still not the best I've ever heard. Uh, there's something uh, about the sound, it's hard to pinpoint. The best I could describe it is it, it lacked clarity uh, overall. And that was from CD, so that, that should already be like, you know, any audio that you're getting out of like a nice CD player should already be very clear and crisp. And that was something I wasn't getting with these. Uh, when I plugged these into my tablet and I watched uh, some YouTube videos and I um, I listened to a little bit of music, uh, mostly kind of like uh, classical and a little bit of like jazzy stuff, uh, I think it did significantly better under, under those conditions. Uh, just for reference, when I was listening to on the CD player, I was listening to like rock and like grunge. So it was a lot more bass heavy. And I think that's where this uh, has some troubles with. If your audio source kind of has too much bass, this uh, kind of just blows out the entire spectrum. Uh, but once I went to just watching content that has kind of an even distribution of the frequencies, it was a lot more comfortable to listen to and it just sounded a lot better in those cases. And so, yeah, uh, I would suggest if you are on a budget and you, you want a pair of headphones, these aren't particularly cheap, cheap. You can definitely get like on-ear headphones. These are, these are over-ear. So honestly, if, if I were to suggest a pair of headphones, get over-ear headphones. Don't get on-ear. Those are almost never comfortable. I've yet to find an on-ear pair of headphones that, that has long-term comfort. So... Yeah, I would suggest these for people who uh, just want to kind of do casual listening, not anything crazy, don't want to spend a lot of money, but also don't want to get like a you know cheap plasticky pair of uh, headphones. Now, these, these do have some plastic in them, but they're actually built and designed pretty well in line with uh, their more expensive models. It takes some design cues such as like the, uh, head, the headband's fantastic. Uh, I like the kind of swiveling ear cups are designed very well and uh, comfortable to boot. And another thing that I did not expect from this pair at all, uh, <laughs> the mic is really good. <laughs> like to the point where this rivals, you know, a lot of the other inbuilt mics in, in the wireless headphones that I use. Of course, this is a wired pair of headphones, so it's already going to get a step up from, you know, wireless mics. But the the sound recording that I performed, which was uh, on this guy, which is like a, a pretty nice, um, you know, audio recorder that has a line in. Uh, as well as a mic input, and so I was able to plug this directly into here and record straight to this device uh, at 320 kbps mp3, and I'll just let you guys hear for yourselves what it sounded like. 
Okay, and just to give you guys a fair shake of what the audio quality is like on the microphone, I am actually recording this right now uh, into MP3 320 kbps uh, via the mic input on my Sony ICD UX570. And I already did a quick test just for my own, um, you know, use. And it sounds actually really good on the mic input. And I finally figured out what that kind of Y splitter adapter cord thing that came with it is for. It's for converting the uh, the four pole, you know, headphone and combined microphone jack that it, that the um, the audio comes over into split headphones and microphone, which. Uh, without that adapter, I actually wouldn't be able to record into this um, this uh, portable um, audio recorder. So that's exactly what it's for. And, and older computers will have separate jacks as well. So makes perfect sense. And so, yeah, I was surprised. That actually sounds fantastic. <laughs> it was clear. It was crisp. It sounds like I was in the room with me speaking, which I was. That that makes no sense to you. That that. What I just said makes absolutely no sense, but just just take it for face value that uh, the audio quality on that was was really good. So if you do like voice chats, conferences, teleconference, that kind of stuff, uh, <laughs> this is a really good choice for like about the forty dollar range of headphones to be able to get a mic that just doesn't sound like crap. And it's really configurable. I was a little bit meh about this, uh, you know the the windscreen kind of mesh thing that because it, it doesn't look like it I, mean, I guess maybe you're supposed to put it on this one now that I think about it but it doesn't really look like it fits it wasn't probably designed specifically for this I just stick it on like this uh, but it was good enough uh, there wasn't any significant like clicking or popping in the signal it was nice and clear there wasn't that I noticed um, with uh, wearing the headphones, these headphones and listening back, I didn't notice like a large noise floor or anything like that. So it did impress me on that front. Uh, for the headphone side, it's decent. Um, definitely you could spend more and get better. It, it's kind of up to you what your budget is. Uh, but this actually did fairly impress me for a $40 pair of uh, on-ear headphones. Now things I I, I also liked... Uh, you know, the inline controls, having the, the volume and you can switch the mic on and off. That's nice. I really wish that they would have gone with a detachable jack. I know that would have increased the cost, even if just a little bit. But it would have made these a lot more useful, having a separate jack so you can disconnect this cord. Uh, it is a little bit more complicated by the fact that it's not just carrying the audio signal. But it's carrying uh, USB because this also acts just like a USB sound card. If you plug it in over USB, it'll redirect the audio over USB. And that worked perfectly. I didn't notice any considerable sound difference between analog or the USB. In summary, uh, pleasantly surprised uh, by this headphone on multiple fronts. I personally would probably suggest going with like the Pro series, the higher end models of these. Paying a little bit more, but still being under about a hundred bucks or so, uh, it'll give you significantly better audio quality in in, in that way. Uh, aesthetically, they all look fine. I, I mean, I like I like the uh, LEDs. What can I say? I like RGB LEDs. So in terms of the audio quality, it is noticeably better on the higher end models that they sell. But like I said, if you're on a budget and maybe you don't need like super audio quality, maybe you just want a pair of comfortable headphones to wear uh, while you're you're talking to someone online or chatting, or if you're gaming and you have like a, a multiplayer chat or something you need to do, then yeah, these will work just fine and the mic is more than sufficient. Uh, for pretty much anything that you'll need it for. Anyway, uh, if you guys are interested, I will have links uh, to uh, this pair as well as, you know, to their site. You might want to check out some of their other models. I've done uh, two or three videos in the past on uh, different models. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And once again, huge thanks to XSEF for sending these guys in. It's always a pleasure seeing their new products. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.